Yes, sir. It's your boy JT, and I'm back again with another video today. Uh, before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys continue to show love. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the notifications so you can be notified when my videos do go live because you know YouTube be on a bullshit. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get to the intro. All right, and we are back again with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video today, of course. In today's video, we're going to be going over the actual the actual gridiron notes because we actually got a title update today, which is for um, October the 4th. Um, whenever you guys see this video, um, this title update is going to be out, and everybody's pretty much kind of talking about it on Twitter, and you know, and uh, everybody has their you know comments about it. But we're going to go over the gridiron notes. Um, so apparently today um if you haven't already checked out my other videos i dropped everything in regards to season two the um hispanic heritage program the competitive field pass information and player rewards too like my videos my previous videos it's like three or four of them go check those out if you're trying to get updated on what's and what's new what's going on all the season two stuff all that stuff go check out my previous videos because that's covering everything I make I made sure to have those streams from the Good Morning Magic stream available on my channel, so you guys can check that stuff out and go through and uh, look at it yourself if you haven't already. But um, of course, today uh, we did have a title update. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna upload this video. Maybe the next day. I don't know, depending on um, content and what gets revealed and all that stuff. But it's gonna get, it's gonna get uploaded. But we did get a content title update on October fourth. Um, so apparently. Uh, this is what's going to be included in the gridiron notes. So it's going to be some new X factors um, Season 2 refresh of course um, with the new content and field pass and all that stuff We got some franchise updates gameplay updates uh, face scan plus uniform refresh So let's not waste no more time here. Let's go ahead and get into it. So here we go Madden 24 title update October 4th 2023 All right so, um, of course, welcome back to the Gridiron Notes, where we bring you information on updates coming to Mad 24 straight from my development team. Um, up first, here's a quick trailer of the upcoming season of Mad 24. So, if you haven't seen that already, um, they previewed that on Twitter, just going over the season one. It was like a teaser trailer. It was revealing what was coming for the field pass in season two and competitive pass and all that stuff. So, Gridiron Notes, what we're hearing from you. So, um, each day, our team is reading the forums, chatting with you on social media, and watching gameplay across platforms like YouTube, Twitch. Below is a key updates as we continue to monitor before we get into title update three. So, um, slow UI transitions. In our latest update, we mentioned our prioritizing around UI transitions. Many improvements have gone live across modes already, and our dev team continues to actively work to optimize high traffic screens inside the Ultimate Team, Superstars, and Franchise. You can continue to expect um incremental updates and improvements to screen transitions in the coming weeks um of course some franchise stuff for the draft class fixes you can read that i'm not really too i'm not really gonna get into the, the franchise stuff but gameplay wise um the following ability addition ability additions are exclusive to playstation 5 xbox series x and pc versions derrick henry equipped with the angry run so that's apparently a new x factor ability um, pretty much it's when your player is entered in the zone this x factor ability grants you extremely high chance to win your first interaction with the defender this will include fake outs attempts trucks stiff arms uh, arm attempts and breaking and breaking a tackle so this is like freight train essentially honestly so angry runs is, is essentially like freight train from last year um, Travis Kelsey equipped with third down threat. This superstar ability grants your player an improved chance of winning contested catches on third down while in single coverage. This allow this will only activate if the pass is within 25 yards. And then um, Jason Kelsey gets uh, equipped with a linchpin. So the superstar ability causes the center to bolster the entire offensive line, allowing players to hold blocks for a long periods of time. Then they are normally than they normally would. And then uh, Michael Parsons equipped with dual threat which is a win in the zone. This X Factor ability grants players extremely high chance to defeat pass blocks while rushing or force catch knockouts while in coverage. So this is towards those, um, those, um, cause I know we have, we have Michael Parsons, we got Jason Kelsey, we got Travis Kelsey already in ultimate team. We didn't see a Derrick Henry though. So Derrick Henry may just be a head to head thing. 
Um, look for Kyle Brandt and can run player of the week and see which player earned this ability in the ultimate team. So apparently, I guess the base version of, well, no, well, yeah, probably the base version of Derrick Henry will we'll probably get this ability. And apparently it's going to be switching from week to week, depending on um, Kyle Brandt's uh, player of the week or whatever the case may be. But these abilities are new in ultimate team for the uh, season two players. Um, of course, catching, uh, fixing the issue, causing players to warp to their feet after uh, playing a dive catch uh, fixed array issue preventing running backs from playing catches on swing routes when leading them upfield uh, fixing the array issue allowing defenders to use a one-handed interception through the receiver's arms yo that shit is so annoying the animations yo i will say movements and animations this year are kind of wonky and they're kind of unrealistic i'm not gonna lie uh, tuning to reduce the catch success chance for pass rushers when attempting to catch an errant throw out a throw out of a sack pass oh i get those little those little those little uh those little sad passes where you get sacked at the same time and your quarterback throws it and it gets picked up by like a d, d lineman or, or or defensive end uh two need to reduce the amount of catch tackle knockouts specifically targeting at curl routes when leading a away from the defender yo i said this in the beginning i was like yo they they talk about increased knockouts or or, or increase the defenders playing the ball and i was and, and as soon as they came out with that when we first got our first trailer for madden 24 i was like yo it's so many knockouts even if you your guy could be wide open and the dude can be like 10 feet away and as soon as he touches you you drop the ball like as soon as they announced that oh it was it's going to be more drops i was like oh my god it's going to get in, even worse but yeah literally they can touch you just a little bit and you'll drop the ball which is so weird so i'm glad they're kind of um tuning that a little bit a uh, defense and special teams tuning to, uh, to a real time ai adjustment logic so it will not take effect when defense is using pass coverage or sub defense personnel after hearing feedback and looking at the online game stats, we have added additional criteria so the defense will now have to have at least as many defense alignment and linebackers on the field as the offense has office alignment and tight ends in order to activate the benefits of recognizing repeated run plays. For the example, a defense aligning in a dime defense versus a one running back and one tight end offense formation will now reflect the defense uh, playing to stop the pass instead of the run okay so pretty much the logic so if you're in dime and if somebody got like six off as a lineman and normally if you run the ball you're supposed to pancake everybody essentially the logic is they're going to play pass which which is going to allow you to pretty much run all over people essentially uh tuning the qb contain logic so only edge rusher edge rush defenders that are very close to the line of scrimmage will be able to get a signed qb contain okay so they're really trying to tighten up on some of these blitzes. Not gonna lie, fix the issue allowing blitz exploit where the defense would slant out the de uh, defensive line after using QB contain to get unrealistic edge heat. Now interior pass rushers will take appropriate rush angles and understanding that the edge rushers are in contain. So yeah, I've been hearing about this on Twitter. Honestly, I don't run the blitzes, so I per I personally don't know about the loop blitzes and stuff like that personally. But I know. People have been complaining because they are literally not supposed to be in the game. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, guys, please scheme. Let's 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 not try to figure out and try to exploit the game and figure out what is the best way to be able. Like, come on, guys. Just like scheme, scheme. Like, come on now. But um, yeah. So they're trying to. They're, so they took that out of the game. So you can't do that particular blitz or whatever that group of blitzes were. So they pretty much took that out of the game and they changed the logic. So um the loops don't really work anymore so that's pretty good I'm, i haven't came across of it. i don't think i have came across it so they pretty much uh gave the offensive line a boost another boost which they already had a boost because of the running game and how op it is so yeah it's going to be kind of difficult to get pressure on offense so it is going to be a little bit more harder to play defense but i mean it is what it is fixing the issue uh causing receivers to enter the give up assignment sometimes after a catch in the flat to their side of the field a uh, fixing issue allows users to a uh, user control defender to tackle a punt returner after a fair catch signal with no penalty what they were doing that for real uh fix the issue causing kickers to immediately walk towards the sideline after performing a squib kick uh, modified defense audibles logic so teams can only audible to formations with matching personnel oh this is different because i know people i forgot the name of the formation but people would um would 
would freaking audible to the formation where they would put pretty much essentially they would have their cornerbacks and safeties on the field and i forgot the name of the actual defense but they were audible to this certain defense so because if you played that i forgot the name of the coverage but the coverage itself stock it has defensive ends what typically people do is they will go to they will go to the actual formation where it puts the cornerbacks in safeties on the field and they were audible to that so pretty much they can have more safeties and cornerbacks on the field so they pretty much stop that to where you can't even audible to it at all um so so they're essentially trying to match personnel which is good um previous users were only able to audible to different defensive sets with the defense formation but we are not looking at substitutions that were made prior to the audible users will no longer be able to audible to a set that puts their substitute safety on the D line on the defensive line. See right there. Uh, users will have the ability to audible from nickel to dime if they have substituted a linebacker with a defensive back, which they could not do before. Yeah, so they putting a stop to that. Um, fixing issue uh, causing user control defense alignment to sometimes get stuck in his stance after shifting the line to the right. Yes, that happens. I have experienced that. Uh, fixing issue allowing users to snap the ball too quickly on no huddles plays carrying forward that fixed from the last title update that was made yeah they apparently tried to fix that and people still complain about it because it still happens fix an issue where an ai control team would burn their last time out early and would sometimes not attempt field goals with the clock expiring fix an issue causing ai control teams to attempt long field goals when out of range um some tuning to some pitch lateral accuracy to make it more difficult and risky to perform long distance laterals don't really care too much about that. Users were able to create unrealistic long pitch plays using the speed option to draw the defense in. Then pitch. They need to fix RPOs and stop playing, and and fix some and put some logic in game. You know, for these defenders to be able to stop these RPOs. That's what they need to do. Um, visual issue preventing skill based passing power bar from updating correctly, allowing Broncos QB Russell. I don't really care about that. Fixing issue causing an inaccurate pass when rolling out. In the past, leading to the inside of the tight end in the flat with a perfect accuracy feedback. Yo, the feedbacks are wrong anyway. Like honestly, they have been wrong since the game came out. They can't get it together with the with the you know passing feedback. It's just so sad. But anyway, uh, blocking wise, added pass blocking logic to address several common exploits. So like I said, those blitzes, those those B gaps and A gaps, and then the 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 other blitzes, they are they pretty much they boosted the offensive line. Fixed array issue causing a defensive player to wrap out over super win pass rush animation into a post play animation. Fixed the issue preventing the right guard from having the correct blocking target on the pistol. Uh, preventing, okay, tackle engaging in block, run gun flex. So these are certain um, plays. Fixed the issue causing a check and release route to release too quickly on a gun. Yeah, so these are just like specific plays and stuff. So playbooks fixing the issue preventing the speed. On onside recovery option from always populating the play call screen find a rare issue preventing the snap after flipping a play due to misaligned wide receivers that's the issue too fix the typo showing packers bench in the broncos playbook um we got some uh what is this pass coverage fix the issue allowing receivers to break away from defenders when pass leading back on the streak routes yes that is annoying when i be hitting over the top and they just just run right past them that shit is crazy Fixing issue in cover four, matching, match, leaving the post route uncovered when using a hot route to streak the tight end on the gun doubles. Yeah. Uh, fixing issue, preventing the curl flat defender from using a zone chuck leverage. And then we have a bunch of specific positions and stuff. Post play. Um, got Jalen Waddles touchdown celebration with played at the wrong speed while his arms were bent incorrectly. That's some visual stuff. Um, but yeah, so and then we got some franchise mode stuff as well too. Ultimate team wise, Mutt menu program panel and Mutt menu play panel should now correctly update progress progression. Like the progression, you know, visuals like be off. It be so delayed. Uh, links inside the head to head field pass should now function correctly. Good. Fix an issue where some users were getting soft locked after exiting a coin challenge. Fix an issue where playbook names and logos were not showing up under my team after switching tabs. Uh, fix an issue on the reward screen that displays a reward of completing one star regardless of how many stars you were completing. The catalog should now correctly display what abilities are locked 
via stat requirements um i've seen a few people make a few videos about it it's still not fixed yet so i, I just don't understand they, they just like the catalog i don't know why they put the catalog in the game honestly like it's just a waste waste of a resource like we could have we could have got something else fix the issue where the bid count and the time remaining were inverted yes that that was an issue the auction house will now show if you are the highest bidder yes because every time you bid it you never knew if you were the highest bidder or you were just bidding against your damn self um uh, fix an issue that caused strategy items to become cut off at the bottom of more than six fix the issue where the game would lock for some users after completing a mud squad's Head head game, fix the issue with the currency bar. We'll be missing after completing the solo battles. Fix the location of the lock item. Uh, reskin the single item viewer. I know they also changed the way. Um, if you go into an actual player and you see the training and see the abilities and stuff, I know they changed that screen and it's kind of different now too as well. Um, what else we got? Fill pass logos will now display when partially filling a progress bar. And then we got some superstar mode stuff. Not gonna get into that some nfl authenticity uh, stuff some helmet socks and all that stuff little stuff i'm gonna put the link in the description if you guys really want to um look at specific stuff i'm gonna go ahead and put it in the comments so you guys can actually look at it yourself but all in all a pretty lengthy um title update full of a lot of gameplay fixes personally that we needed um i know a lot of a lot of the community is complaining but i think it's going to be good for us to have these fixes and these exploits patch because like like i said at the end of the day yo y'all need to figure out how to scheme and stop trying to figure out exploits in the game to try to win games and make it easier on yourself but anyway if you guys enjoyed the video <laughs> make sure you guys hit the like button make sure you guys subscribe and we'll catch you guys on the next one